Dreallday.com. What's up, y'all? Dre Baldwin, Dreallday.com. I want to talk about what all y'all out there, all you ball players, all you young players, especially, I want to talk about what you all are up against right now. Because many of us, as we go through our day to day lives, we only think about what we see in front of us. We're not thinking about the whole world as a whole, like what's going on everywhere. We only think about what's going on where we are. So let me tell y'all, first of all, I'm going to give y'all a statistic that I got. I got this statistic from uh, Alan Stein. Alan Stein is a strength and conditioning coach over at, uh, I think, Montrose High School in VA or DC, wherever it is. And I don't know Alan Stein, but I'm giving him a shout out because I sent Alan Stein an email actually one time asking him a question, a, a training question. And he emailed me back with a very detailed answer. So I got a lot of respect for what Alan Stein does. He's also on YouTube. And like I said, I don't mind shouting him out even though I don't know him because when I hit him up the one time, he wrote me back immediately and I respect his work. But anyway, this is the, this is the statistic that he showed. He said the only 0.03% of high school players make ever make it to the professional basketball ranks that's professional anywhere nba d league overseas whatever only 0.03 percent and i'm gonna tell you what that means in a second and only 1.2 percent of ncaa players only 1.2 percent of college players ever play pro basketball so out of a thousand dudes playing college basketball one of them is going to play in the pros statistically speaking and out of 3,333 high school basketball players, that means you, everybody on your team, and another 3,000 players, if we put all y'all in one room, maybe one of y'all will make it to the pros anywhere, even overseas. The D League, the NBA, one of you out of 3,000 is going to make it to professional basketball. So I want you to just sit and think about that real quick. Think about what you're up against. Think about how many people out there want to do what you want to do. Want to play in the NBA. Want to play pro ball. Want to play overseas. There's so many people trying to play basketball out there. And y'all, you really got to think about that every day when you go out there and put in your work. How much competition it is because everybody wants to get to that level. Okay? Many people. There's a whole bunch of people between, let's just say from high school. We'll say between the ages of 14 and even 30. People between the ages of 14 and 30. You know how many people it is in the world between those ages that think they could be in the NBA or deserve a shot at the NBA? Like, it's crazy. Everybody thinks they can play in the NBA. So understand that and absorb it and grasp it every time you go out there and put your work in, whether it be on the conditioning, whether it be on the weights, whether it be in basketball, whether it be in film, whether it be in school, so you can make sure you can get on the court. Think about that every time you get out there. Out of <clears throat> out of a hundred of y'all, let's just say, let's just take your high school team. Let's say it's 15 people on the team in your high school. And then take every team that y'all play against in the season. Let's say it's 10 other teams. That's 150 players. Plus y'all, 165 players. So that's 165 guys in your high school team, your town, and the whole league, everybody. 165 players. Now let's take 10 other towns with that same number of teams. That's 1,100. And then we'll take, multiply that by 3. So that means 30 towns. Let's take 30 towns in America that are the same size as yours, and all the high school teams in those towns and put all y'all together. One of y'all may make it to the pros. And I'm not saying that to discourage you. I would never ever put anything out. I never will put anything out on YouTube or in my blog or on Twitter or anything that would discourage any young person from doing something that they feel like they can accomplish. So let me be clear about that. I'm not putting this out there to discourage you. I'm putting it out there to impress upon you what you are up against. That this is not, is not easy to make it to the pros. I don't care how good you think you are what you think you're going to become or how easy you think it is from watching somebody else. It is not easy. You got a lot of competition that you have to beat if you want to get to the professional level. Okay. And let me make it clear that, like I said, I would never put anything out to discourage y'all because if I was ever, if I was the type of person to talk like that, to try to discourage people from doing something 
that they feel like they want to accomplish, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I wouldn't be where I'm at if I was discouraging other people from doing what they want to do. And nobody else that has done things, really successful, great things in their life will ever discourage you from doing great things. So if somebody's discouraging you from doing great things, you need to take a look at who that person is and what their role is in your life because that's not the type of person that you need to be associating yourself with if you want to make it to the highest levels of anything. Trust me. So I want you to take this information. This information I gave you today, I want you to take it with you next time you have practice and you don't feel like working hard. Next time you wake up in the morning and you think, you know what, instead of going out and you know, running that two miles this morning, I'm just going to turn over and go back to sleep because I don't feel like it. Next time you think about sleeping in instead of putting in that workout before you go to school. You are in competition with a million people. Just think about the fact that out of 3,000 high school basketball players, maybe one of you will ever earn one single dollar playing basketball in your life. Maybe one of you. Maybe. Think about that next time you feel like not putting in a full effort in your workouts, not playing hard in practice, not doing that extra work that's going to get you over the hump above that guy next to you. Think about that. You got a lot of competition out there.